During Holy Week, we have journeyed with the disciples. We joined them as they paraded into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. We sat at a table with them in the upper room while Jesus washed their feet. We watched from afar with them as Jesus was arrested and crucified. We sat alone, feeling abandoned with them on Holy Saturday. Imagine what it would have been like that first Easter. Hold on, everyone. I, Simon Peter, what are you yeah, doing here? Yeah, listen, I've, I've been to the tomb. The tomb? Wait, what? We all agreed the best thing was to stay put. It's not safe to be near Jesus. Right, but okay, here's, here's what I know. We were in the upper room, some of the other disciples and I, and we'd been there since Thursday night. We celebrated Passover with Jesus in that room, and later that night he was arrested. It's the worst night of my life, you know? I, I did things that night that I never thought I would. I just felt so out of control of anything. And then he was just gone. So we, we went back to the room, the last place we'd all been together, just before everything went wrong. And early this morning, Mary Magdalene came and she was so upset. She burst into the room and she said, they have taken the Lord from out of the tomb and I don't know where they have laid him. And I thought it's just like the guards. It's not enough that he was tortured, that he was humiliated, that he died and now his body has been missing as some sort of cruel joke. So I took off running and I realized I wasn't the only one running when my dear friend and Jesus's beloved disciple passed me and began leading the way. When I got there, he was on his knees outside the open tomb. So I pushed past him and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The linen wrappings, the ones that Joseph and Nicodemus had wrapped him in when they took his body from Pilate, the, the shroud that was meant to cover him until after the Sabbath, they were just lying there. And the cloth that was used to wrap his head, and oh, you're going to think this is crazy, but it, it was folded neatly and off to the side. We just kind of stood there, trying to figure out what could have happened. And Mary was there, and she was crying, and I wanted to cry, and but it wasn't safe for us to be there. So we don't know what happened. What if we got caught and accused of stealing his body as some kind of hoax. So we, we came back home and tried to send someone out there later and figure out what's going on. And Maybe Nicodemus knows something. I know what happened. M Mary Magdalene, I, I wonder where you were. Are you okay? I saw him. I, I have seen the Lord. You found his body? No, no. Peter, I have seen him. He's not dead. He's alive. I, I don't understand. Can you start from the beginning? Okay, you know some of the story already. Some of us women had planned to meet at his tomb very early in the morning. You know, there was essential work to be done. But when I arrived, the, the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Well, you know that. You saw it yourself a little while ago. Well, yes, that part is true. The tomb was empty. The two of you had left the tomb, and I was just standing there. I was weeping. Where did they take him? So I decided to look in the tomb for myself. Maybe I could find a clue that would help us understand. Peter, why didn't you mention the angels? The, the angels? What angels? The angels in the tomb? When I bent down to look inside, there were two of them sitting where his body should have been. And they talked to me. Woman, why are you weeping? They asked. And I told them, they have taken away my Lord and I don't know where they have taken him to lay him. I thought I must be hallucinating or maybe my eyes were so full of tears that I was seeing things. So I stood up again and I turned around and, and I jumped. I was startled. There behind me was a man. He was just standing there. Woman, why are you weeping? He asked me. For whom are you looking? I realized I knew who he must be. This must be the gardener. Maybe he knew what had happened. Maybe he had to move Jesus's body for some reason. So I asked him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him. 
and well did the gardener know where's jesus peter he said my name he called me mary and then i began to understand i knew who was with me peter it was jesus jesus was the one who was talking to me like jesus like our jesus Rabboni, I exclaimed. I reached out for him. Do not hold on to me, he said. Right, because of social distancing. No, Peter, nothing like that. Do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go. And this is why I'm here, Peter. He said, go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Peter, I have seen the Lord. But what can this even mean? I don't know exactly. I suppose we will wait to see what happens next. Peace be with you, Peter. And also with you, Mary. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.